Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm the Lonely Winged Hussar. In this series, I'm gonna play the new Return of Rome campaigns. Let's start! The ways of the gods are incomprehensible. Far more predictable is the path walked by a man who considers himself a god. So too it was for Sargon, the greatest conqueror Mesopotamia has ever known. Like the legendary shepherd that founded our great city, Sargon seemed to have descended from heaven a grown man, crafted by the gods to rule the world. But while his true origins remain a mystery, his earthly story began here, in Kish, a place so beautiful that even the lustrous words of the poets cannot do it justice. Back when I, Ushar, was still a man of youthful strength, Kish was ruled by Urzababa. If the gods had molded Sargon from clouds and ether, Urzababa was made from common clay. Nothing about him was exceptional, save for his fondness for fine food, extravagant clothes, and luxurious wine. Urzababa had appointed Sargon as his cupbearer, and the shy, unassuming adolescent served him wine and kept him company in many a lonely hour. Yet, unbeknownst to the king, Sargon was plagued by a strange, recurring dream. Ishtar, the goddess of war, appeared to Sargon in his sleep and promised him extraordinary things. One day, she said, he would be king not only of Kish, but of all the land between the Euphrates and the Tigris. Not realizing the weight of his words, Sargon told his master of the dream and the king turned pale. Had the boy who served him every day truly been chosen by the goddess of war? Urzababa could not allow this prophecy to come true. He banished Sargon to the desert, and in doing so, he convinced Sargon that the goddess had spoken truly. Yet banishment was not enough for the frightened king. He soon sent Kish's most vigorous warriors to ambush his former confidant among the dunes. I was one of those men. As a smith, I was the strongest, and when Urzababa ordered me to swap my hammer for a sword, I accepted, but not without hesitation. By now, the tale of the banished servant and his dreams had spread far beyond the royal palace. Many who suffered under Urzababa's rule saw Sargon as a savior. When I finally caught up with him at a remote well, he was resting in the shade. I left my sword in its scabbard and faced a man who showed no fear. In his mind, he was no longer a simple servant. He was indeed Ishtar's chosen one.
You are perceptive, Sargon. I understand why Urzababa fears you so much, but there is no time to talk. Let me prove my loyalty to you. There is the traitor called Sargon. What are you waiting for, Shar? Help us hunt down the renegade. Urzababa will send more assassins. We cannot stay here. But I know of two villages where we could hide for a while. It is Sargon, the Chosen One, who it is said will lead us Sumerians into a new age. You may stay with us as long as you wish, and we will support your cause. Zababa rules not only Kish, but also Zippar and Borsippa. It is time that these places bowed to Ishtar's will. So, you are holed up in a seedy village, Zargon. My scouts are everywhere. You can escape neither my eyes nor your face. Urzababa's forces have occupied several mines in this area. We should seize them. Our market is open to you. Do not hesitate to send your merchants to us to trade. Oklahoma? Bombus. Abadan, 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 Abadan,
An attack on the heavily guarded southern gates of Kish will cost many lives. Our scouts report that the gates to the north are barely protected, however. Do not worry. It is no more than a scratch. Give me a few minutes to tend to my wounds. has not called me home yet, man. Forward! Let us smash our enemies. Do not worry, it is no more than a scratch. Give me a few minutes to tend to my wounds. Bombers, bombers, bombers. 
has not called me home yet, man. Forward! Let us smash our enemies! Ambus! 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 Run! Abadak! Run! 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 Bombus, Somus, Pillar, Bombus, Somus, Rogan, Bombus, Somus, Rogan, Pillar, Bombus, Bombus, Rogan, Abadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadab
Nothing remains of Borsipa's temple but smoking ruins. Build a new place of worship here so that the people can henceforth dedicate their lives to Ishtar. The inhabitants of Borsipa worship Nabu, the god of learning and writing. From now on, they will reveal the power of the sword with which we will smash Urzababa's weak rule. Thank you. 
Ishtar's place of worship is destroyed. Build a new temple over its ruins so that the inhabitants of the city will follow Ishtar. The people of Zippar were once blinded by the sun god, but they have now seen the light. Their warriors will make fine additions to Ishtar's army. Sacrilege to tear down the temples of pious men, Zargon. Is this your idea of a new order? You are building on quicksand, my friend. Get away from my land, Zargon. Remember that I exiled you from Kish. <laughs> Run. 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 Run.
has come to kill me, just as the prophecy foretold. The taste of death is upon my lips. All is lost. As we entered the royal palace in Kish, I swelled with joy and pride. Sargon had triumphed, and it seemed that this man, blessed by Ishtar, was truly invincible. Yet in my quiet moments, I wondered if it would ever have come to this if Urzababa had not expelled Sargon. Had we fulfilled a prophecy, or had a simple dream become prophecy? only after the fearful king sealed his own fate. Dreams and oracles, visions and prophecies, it seems that these mysterious forces can be as dangerous to those who believe in them as they are to those who ignore them. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like uh, and leave a comment. Oh, leave a follow to my socials too, I leave the link in the description. That's all for now, arrivederci.